Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks dealing with a Leo romantically. Now, this is a timeless reading, Leo. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do like to remind you it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. And you are always more than welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Now, before we get into it, as always, I want to remind you, I have my Etsy shop up and running. So if you would like to purchase a tarot card reading from me, definitely feel free to head on over to Etsy. You can see everything that I'm currently offering. And I'm really excited, you guys, because I've been adding a lot of stuff for the holiday season because, you know, Christmas is coming up. Well, in a little bit, <laughs> you know, we're getting there. We got to start thinking about it. So if you want to check out some of the stuff that I've got there, I've got like printable items and super cute merchandise. So definitely feel free to hop on over there and check that out if you are interested. A lot of the stuff is like instant download stuff so you can just like purchase it and download it immediately so it's like super quick access anyway i will put the link in the description box just below this video if you would like to view my etsy shop all right my love so we're gonna get to it today what we're gonna do is take a look at the recent past the current moment as well as a little bit of a sneak peek at what is coming toward you in the near future so we're gonna use the crystal visions to, uh, today i was gonna say the crystal visions tarot and today at the same time uh, let's use the crystal visions tarot and please give me one card to start out for leo in the recent past what have we got for leo in the recent past okay so in the recent past we've got the two of wands this is a card that involves a lot of planning thinking about the future potentially feeling like you have a couple of different directions that you can move in now this is a love reading so it definitely feels like you could have been in a position where you were planning for something in your love life or having to make some sort of decision between a couple of different possibilities here when it comes to love so we'll look more at that in just a moment leo let's get one card here for the current moment let's get one card oh i love that we are absolutely gonna take that leo so in the current energy what is happening right now nine of cups the nine of cups is the wish fulfillment card your dream is coming true something that you've been wishing for coming to fruition so i think you should expect that there's going to be something happening in your life something shifting something changing something coming in right now related to love that's going to feel like a dream come true so i love that energy for you we'll look more at that in a moment and then let's get one card here for the near future let's get one card love it knight of wands totally possible that you are dealing with another fire sign romantically in the near future this is leo energy aries sagittarius regardless of who you're dealing with even if it's not necessarily a fire sign let's just say that there's going to be a lot of love and a lot of passion between you and this person it definitely looks like somebody's coming in hot here leo so if you're single going into the near future it kind of feels like this knight of wands is actively pursuing you and i definitely feel like there is a very fiery and passionate connection here for you in the near future which feels really good so we'll talk more about that in just a moment all right my loves but in the meantime let's go back to the recent past here where we've got that two of wands like i said you could have had some sort of choice or decision that you needed to make here involving your love life tell me more about this two of wands please in the recent past the death okay this is a card of endings you were deciding whether you wanted to end something this could have been a relationship you guys right you could have been involved with somebody romantically and you could have been trying to decide do i stay in this relationship or do i end it it definitely looks like you were considering walking away and for some of you you actually made that decision to finally end it the death card is about change and transformation and it typically indicates uh, walking away from something ending something that no longer serves us but it also leads to a beautiful new beginning so i also kind of wonder here like i'm looking at that two of wands leo and it kind of feels a little bit to me like maybe what happened in the recent past is you were having a conversation with the person who you were involved with romantically and maybe part of that conversation really led you to see that perhaps the two of you were not really on the same path when it comes to the future and what you were planning for so for those of you who did go through a breakup in the recent past it feels very much to me like this happened because there was the potential here that the two of you did not envision the same future you didn't see the same things for yourself 
moving forward when you you know when you look like two five ten years out you may have started to realize that maybe the two of you were not on the same page and that's one of those like tough things when it comes to relationships right where you're like you guys may have had a great connection in a lot of ways but you know if there isn't that longer term compatibility in terms of your goals your dreams your desires and everything that you're ultimately <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> losing my voice you guys um, and everything that you're ultimately working on it might just be a situation where like I said you're just not compatible even if you love each other right uh, so tell me more tell me more please knight of pentacles so we've got that beautiful earth energy virgo taurus capricorn so you could have been dealing with an earth sign here um you know i do think the knight of pentacles is a slower moving energy so i feel like you were in a bit of like a slow down phase in the recent past if that makes sense you may have recently ended a relationship you may have recently disconnected from somebody like i said where you didn't really see that future and i think you were like taking some time to kind of slow down so i don't feel like you jumped right into another relationship i don't even think you were actively looking for that leo i think you were really taking the time to kind of get your head straight in terms of what you want when it comes to love and especially if you ended a relationship where there wasn't that compatibility i do think that you took it feels like a little bit of a break like you gave yourself a little bit of a timeout where you're like i'm just gonna give myself a little bit of a breather when it comes to love and not really like you know take a lot of action but just take some time to figure out what you really want moving forward so that you can ultimately attract a partner who aligns with that tell me more and then two of swords yeah okay so here's the thing, Leo, like part of the issue here in the recent past may have been that you were really not sure what you wanted. OK, so maybe you were the one with that two of swords who was feeling a little bit indecisive and you may have been in a relationship and you may have realized like you were feeling kind of uncertain about what you wanted. And maybe you realized like the relationship that you were in was not what you wanted but you were also again not really sure what it is that you do want so i'm feeling a lot of that uncertainty especially with like that two of swords the two of wands lots of evaluation what do i want what am i building for myself but some of you could have definitely disconnected from a relationship because you knew it wasn't what you want but you also may have been like i'm still not 100 percent sure what i do want and that's where you needed to take some time to figure that out because you may have also you know been feeling a little bit stuck like with the two of swords your head may have been telling you one thing your heart may have been telling you another so you could have definitely been grappling with some sort of decision related to a relationship or related to your future okay so let's go into the current energy where we've got that beautiful nine of cups like i said that's absolutely a gorgeous card here about wishes coming true so let's find out a little bit more about this for leo tell me more about this nine of cups for leo please the world <laughs> this person is literally coming in to make all of your dreams come true leo so they're going to show you the world maybe you guys are going on a trip maybe you meet this person while traveling but the world card is ultimately a sense of happiness fulfillment um it feels very good what i'm getting here leo is that this person is going to just kind of fit into your life very easily it's going to feel really good it's going to feel just like the word easy is coming to mind like seamlessly fitting into your life that's what i'm kind of picking up on here leo it's like it's just easy for the two of you to, to be together there's compatibility there's love there's a shared vision of the future so that feels really good tell me more please tell me more and then we got the knight of cups okay so the person who could be pursuing you here leo we've definitely got this beautiful water energy cancer scorpio pisces so the knight of cups very romantic very lovey uh <laughs> like i do think there could be somebody here who's making you a grand romantic gesture this is always a little bit of that like fairy tale being swept off of your feet and it definitely feels like that's the energy coming in for you right now it feels like a, a little bit of a fairy tale romance in the current energy for you leo and you know my perspective on this like let yourself enjoy it let yourself really love the the process of getting to know this person because i definitely see someone here who has feelings for you and yeah i feel like they're very romantic very dreamy i kind of love that let's get one more for the current energy oh no <laughs> leo i was hoping this wasn't gonna happen okay so let's talk about it you guys uh seven of swords is the thief of the tarot so oh my goodness leo i was wondering i don't know i kind of like felt this i was like ah oh, i don't know is the seven of swords gonna follow the knight of cups so let me break it down for you here's the thing 
The, if you've watched my videos before, you've probably heard me talk about the Knight of Cups and how how I look at the Knight of Cups kind of varies depending on the other cards. So if there's a lot of beautiful cards, like in this case, there's the Nine of Cups in the world, I'm like, oh, the Knight of Cups is a very romantic energy. But then when you start to get cards like the Seven of Swords, it starts to be a little bit like, hmm, maybe this person is living a little bit in a fantasy land. Because the Knight of Cups, when you get this kind of energy with it, that is kind of what it can represent, Leo. So it can represent somebody who's kind of like in love with being in love, you know, in love with the idea of being in love. And they're really good, especially at the start of a relationship where it's all love and butterflies and rainbows and magic and all that good stuff. But sometimes they are prone to living in a little bit of a fantasy land. And sometimes with this kind of person, you can see things drop off as the relationship starts to get more serious. So this might be someone who's like, a bit of a serial dater where it's like they're good for like the first six to six months to year of a relationship but then once you get out of that like honeymoon stage of the relationship they might lose interest so i will say here leo there is going to be something happening for you in the current moment it's going to feel really good it's going to feel like a dream come true and it's going to feel like you are being swept off your feet the advice that I give you with the Knight of Cups is to make sure that you're also staying grounded in reality. It is possible that there might be some red flags that are coming up within this connection. So you need to make sure that you're not ignoring those red flags as you're getting swept away in the passionate embrace of this Knight of Cups. Because here's the thing, and I always say this to you as well, Leo, when there's red flags, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a deal breaker, but it mean, means you've got to address it. So I feel like the Seven of Swords in the current moment is saying there could be some red flags coming up with this person. So what do we do when we see red flags? We figure out what's going on, right? Because you might address it with this person and it ends up being totally fine. Or it ends up being a big deal breaker because it's actually a problem. So I feel like I was like so excited at first where I'm like, your dreams are coming true. And I do think you're gonna feel really good about somebody here who's giving you attention, but I want you to stay grounded in reality so that you're seeing like, I don't, I don't really, I was gonna say seeing the truth of the situation. I don't even feel like this person is necessarily like lying per se, but I just feel like maybe this is someone who romanticizes love a little bit. And if you do end up dating them and taking things further, there might be some challenges there when you get into like the realness of a relationship, you know what I mean? So just watch out for that coming up. Enjoy the passion, but address any sort of potential red flags or issues that do come up. Like address those immediately so that you can figure out whether it's worth continuing to pursue this connection or not, okay? All right, so let's go into the near future where we've got that beautiful Knight of Wands, fiery, passionate connection. Let's find out what's going on with this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands for Leo in the near future. Oh, <laughs> we got two cards coming out. You wanna see what they are, Leo? King of Cups and the Six of Cups, okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, Leo, so could be dealing with a water sign, more water energy here, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, it, if you're not dealing with a water sign, like this is just somebody where you feel a deep emotional connection, okay, my loves? Now it gets very interesting to me because we've got that Six of Cups, which tends to indicate past energy. So I'm almost gonna say here for some of you, Maybe what's happening is that in the current moment, you're going on dates, you're having some fun, but it's not really turning serious and, and you're okay with that. But in the near future, it looks like you could be reestablishing a passionate, loving connection, potentially with somebody from your past. Now, if you are not interested in past person, Leo, that message is not for you. This could just be a passionate new connection with somebody who is very loving. But it, there is the potential here that this is a past person who you're reconnecting with. So yeah, maybe you're kind of like in the current moment, going out, having fun. And then in the near future, you're like, I want this past person back. And I, I almost wonder, Leo, I almost wonder for some of you, and you guys can let me know if this connects with you in the comments. You know how with the recent past, I was like, you're kind of indecisive about what you want. You might feel like, I don't want the person I'm with, but I don't really know what I want. I wonder if you ended things with your person and then in the current energy, you went out, you dated around, you met some different people, you explored the dating pond. And then in the near future, maybe you find yourself thinking back to that ex. And I'm just gonna say, Leo, like maybe having like a little twinge of regret that you let it go. And I wouldn't be surprised, and I know this is a specific message, you guys, but like, I wouldn't be surprised for some of you if you do maybe you know, reach out to this person in the near future because you realize that you still have feelings for them, okay? 
I'm just saying it's possible, you guys. What else have we got? And then the hermit, yeah. It's kind of like you're doing this deep thinking and introspection in the near future about what you really want when it comes to love. And so I feel like you're going to be having some realizations here about what you really want in your heart and what's really going to make you happy. I do think you were like, I just want to say like, I feel you were so indecisive in the recent past. And so you were kind of trying to find your footing and figure out what you want when it comes to love. And you may have ended a relationship. And like I said, dated around and all that stuff. And through that process, it may have helped to give you some more clarity about what you're actually looking for. And so in the near future, I see you connecting with somebody where there's that deeper level of emotional intimacy with that King of Cups. Okay. It could be somebody new, but again, I would not be surprised for some of you if it is that person from the past where after you've taken some time, maybe you feel like you've collected your thoughts, you've grown up a little bit, I wouldn't be surprised if you reach out to that person to see if maybe there's still something there between the two of you, okay? And again, if you're not reaching out to the past, this just feels like a romantic connection, again, potentially with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but I see you getting a lot more settled and clear-headed about your path moving forward in the near future. So uh, yeah, it's kind of like you're feeling more comfortable. Like the words that are coming to mind are settled and comfortable. Whereas in the past, it was like uncertain, indecisive, not sure. So I think you've been going through a little bit of a journey where you've been figuring out for yourself what you really want when it comes to love. And I think in the near future, you're gonna be feeling a lot more confident in what it is that you desire and you're gonna be moving towards a partner who aligns with what you want, okay? Whether it's the past person or whether it's somebody new. All right, my love, so I'm gonna leave it there for you. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Head on over to my Etsy shop, check out everything that I've currently got available on there. The link is in the description box below this video. And of course, you know, I love you guys. I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll be talking again very soon. Bye guys.